Hello, my name is Henry Emfrey. This is a Godot 3D game development tutorial to show you how to rig animations so that they can be used in the Godot 3D game engine. We are going to get a character to walk inside of the engine. We are also going to rig the animation so that the character can punch. I made my character in a Autodesk program called Autodesk Character Generator and I attached animations to my character in a program called Mixamo. Now I did a tutorial on how to create and rig a character in a Play Canvas tutorial that I did before whose link is below. Now Fragmotion can be a free program if you type in the Lord's Prayer when the program prompts you after seven days. I left Fragmotion's link below too. Now to Fragmotion. Now, in order for your mesh and animations from Mixamo to work inside of Fragmotion, you will have to first convert your those FBX files that you downloaded from Mix, Mixamo will have to be converted to an earlier version of FBX file. And I do that with this uh, program called Autodesk uh, FBX Converter 2013. The link is below and it's a, it's, this is also a free program. And this program comes in handy uh, for converting uh, like a lot of things. Like if you want to do from FBX to DAE file or FBX to OBJ or, or anything like that. Uh, this program comes in handy it, and this uh, saves time and you don't have to go to go into Blender to uh, convert the files. Uh, so, um, so what I do is uh, in order to convert my FBX files to an earlier version of FBX, we first click on add and then uh, we go to our folder where we downloaded our uh, Mixamo um, animations which for me will be this folder right here then you select the animation that you want to use for frag motion you of course got to use your uh, main character so I select my main character I hold down control button and also select the walking and I'm also going to select the cross punch okay and then click open and then on this other side I'm going to select change directory now you can select whichever folder you choose I'm going to select this frag motion folder so the next thing I do is go import those animations that I just converted so I go to file I go to import and then I go into this uh, FBX 2009 folder where, where my converted files are stored. And then I just import them. The, one of the main things I want to do is import this Henry because uh, this is my our main character. So import that. Now that I imported that, I'm going to rename this Henry. Okay. And go ahead and delete, uh, delete this default because we're not going to use that. And then I'm going to go go to merge animation. And now I'm going to import the walking one that, in, that says walking here. Uh, you know, you want to uncheck the default click OK and then uh, I'm going to do the same thing down here go to mixamo.com and rename it uh, walking walking okay you, you can see that uh, in our character walks so we import that the import was successful and then the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, go back to file go to merge animation I'm going to uh, I'm going to and now I'm going to enter, import the punch which in this case is going to be called cross punch so I'm going to import that then of course 
click uncheck default click OK and then I'm gonna go back to this box just like I did with the walking and then I'm gonna rename it punch and as you can see um, you know when I press the play button a punch was imported successfully okay so now that we imported our animation successfully the first thing that we're going to do is count how many keyframes each animation lasts so first we're going to start with our walking and we can see that down here in this red loop um, our, our walking animation lasts for uh, 30 okay so we, we make note of that you might even want to write that down and when we click on this punch, we can see that our that our punch animation lasts for 71 counts. So, our, what you do is you, you have to add th this these this set of keyframes is 30 here with the 71 here, because um, that's go that's going to uh, determine how long our entire uh, frame set is going to last when we put both the walking and punch together in one animation frame strip. You can hypothetically have a, an animation for walking, animation for jumping, animation for sliding, animation for punching, whatever. You want to write down the the sum of the all your frames uh, down on a piece of paper so you can know how many keyframes we're going to be working with when we put them all together. And maybe maybe this might make sense a little later. Okay, so knowing how many frames we're going to be working with, we're going to start. We're going to just use our walking animation. We're going to start with our walking animation. Start the walking animation, and click on Windows, and then click on Key Keyframe Editor. And then when you get to the uh, when you click on Keyframe Editor, you're going to get a box like this. You see that uh, the walking animation again ends at 30. But so now what we're going to do is expand this box so we, that we can put our punch animation in with this. So we got 30 and our punch animation was what? 71. So 71 plus 30 is 101. So, so we got so in this walking uh, thing we're going to expand this all the way to 100. Eh. Oh, let me take a moment. This might take a moment, but you get the idea. A hundred. Actually, it's supposed to be a hundred and one. That's what I meant. Yeah, that's what I should have said. Hundred and one. So now that takes care of all the frames that we're going to use. So the next thing that we do. Is go to punch, click on punch, and uh, now we're inside of Punch's own uh, keyframe editor. I, I mean, that is, each animation has its own keyframe editor. Uh, we just dealt with the walks uh, keyframe editor, which was 30. Now we're dealing with Punch's keyframe editor, which is 70. All I did was just click on punch to get to uh, Punch's animation. So the next thing we're going to do inside of punches keyframe editor is we're going to click on select select all copy and then go back and click on walking go down back down to frag motion click on walking so that we can get back to walking's keyframe editor and then we're going to put the uh put this little red tab right here we're going to click paste and then after we pasted this, we should get a little box here. You see this little blinking, uh, this little blinking line right here. It's uh, that's the uh, uh, box that what I'm talking about. We're just so we're gonna bring this box, the front of this box, all the way down to this uh, line here, this red line here. Anything that's put it past 30, put this box anywhere past 30. Put the front of this box, this first line past 30 
and then the next thing we do is double click this one click OK we start it over and then we play it yay thus our animations are combined okay so now that this was, that was successful you can kinda of see where the uh... like I said again where the hundred comes from you now we got the thirty for walk and then uh... And then we got the the other uh, seventy for the punch, which all which thirty plus seventy one is one hundred and one. So if you wanted to, you can expand, uh, put some more animations. You know, uh, all you gotta do is expand this box down, and uh, and then you know you can uh, add jump. Uh, like jump could be twenty animations. So you just go down, go t go twenty down, and add your jump. You know, uh, uh, you know swimming. Uh, you, just expand this box. Oops. You know, you can go down two more and just keep going, keep going like that. Um, so we go back to hundred to, because that's what we're using. We'll work hundred and one. I keep saying hundred, hundred one. But you get the idea. So now that that was successful, the next thing that we gotta do is uh, get rid of punch. Um, like I said, since we since we moved the keyframes uh, up here into walking, we don't need punch anymore. So um, you can just uh, delete that, and then I'm gonna rename walking to uh, punch in walking, cause uh, in, cause now that our uh, our punch frames are are inside this walking uh, of set of animations, we're gonna change the name. So you can either change the name over here by uh, 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 just deleting this, deleting this, and writing the name in, or you can. Uh, just a uh, right click uh, on uh, walking and uh, click rename and you can uh, rename it over here too okay so I'll name this walking and punch okay okay so now that that's done and it showed up over here too and so now that that's done we can go ahead and uh, export our file uh, in my frag note motion folder that's on my desktop but you can save yours wherever you want and um, wherever you want this okay so, but when you save you want to save it as a an Autodex FBX file and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rename this walk and punch and and then then I'm gonna click save okay so the last thing that we have to do is bring our character and our animation back into this program called Autodesk FBX Converter so that we can convert our files to DAE so that they can work in Godot. So what you do is uh, click on add and then remember we named this uh, our file walk and punch. Click on that and and then we're going to export this um, I'm, at least I'm going to click change destination and I'm I'm going to uh, um, export this to my Godot folder I mean you could have named your uh, um, folder whatever you wanted to name it but, but we're going to um, export our our files our DAE files uh, back to you know whatever folder you choose or whatever folder that you put your Godot items in. So I'm gonna select this directory here. And then I'm gonna change the format to DAE Colada. Next I'm gonna make another tutorial about actually importing this all of our animations and files into the Godot engine. Till next time. Bye bye.